Hello, so this is day 43 of our Pavlik harness journey and I thought I'd just quickly um, pop on here and just show you a photo, um, a comparison photo really of Max's um, scans. I realised that we actually took a photo um, of his scan results when we went um, for his appointment last week um, and the physio actually talked us through the difference um, in both the scans. Um, so it was really interesting to see um, what the hip looked like originally in comparison to what it does now. So bearing in mind this is a ultrasound rather than an x-ray so um, the picture that you get isn't really clear that it's a hip but you can see um, the difference in both of um, the photos. Um, so this is the picture of the scans. Um, this is a scan of Max's right hip, which was his um, worst hip. So on the day he went into the harness, the angle um, of his right hip was 49 degrees, bearing in mind um, the acceptable um, angle is 60 degrees. So we had a little bit of a way to go with this hip. Um, I've just circled um, what the issue is. So you can see here um, the cartilage or bone, not entirely sure exactly what it is, is quite straight. Um, so it's not holding the hip in, um, the hip joint in place at all. Um, his hips couldn't be dislocated um, or anything like that. So um, on the grand scheme of things, this is still quite a mild case of dysplasia. Um, but if you then compare that to um, our scan last week, which would have been five weeks in the harness, you can see that the sort of bone cartilage um, has now sort of begun to curl around the top of um, the hip um, socket joint, whatever it is, which I've circled here. So this is the difference between um, a good and a bad hip. Um, so we're now in what's called consolidation. So we're just holding the hip now in this place to firm up there. Um, but yeah, so this angle um, was now 64 degrees. So um, his left hip had moved to 72 or 73 and his right hip was sort of 64, um, which is both acceptable and, and great. But um, I just thought it was really interesting to see um, what it actually looked like because you know we're all um, well anyone that's been in this game for you know a few weeks now all they want to know is um, the angles and um, what they are but this is actually what it looks like um, but yeah I just thought that might be um, interesting um, for anyone um, I just wanted to mention as well a few days ago I spoke about us moving Max out of the sleepy head um, that's actually gone really quite well. I started off doing um, just a few naps out of the sleepy head um, and now we're doing overnights out of the sleepy head um, also. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be looking to do something with our um, sleepy head once I know for sure um, that he doesn't need to go back in it for any particular reason. I might try and just list it um, in one of our uh, DDH um, d dysplasia groups on Facebook just to see if anybody um, might want it seeing as I've sort of cut it and everything it may as well go to good use to somebody that needs it for their baby um, but yeah that's about it really I just thought that would be um, interesting and um, again when we have a scan in a few weeks time it'll be interesting to see um, what the difference is again but yeah cool catch you later